ES Audio. Hi, I'm Rochelle Travers, and this is the Evening Standards Tech and Science Daily. Coming up, House of the Dragons VFX Secrets Revealed. But first... Elon Musk has warned Twitter employees of the possibility of bankruptcy as the US regulator says it's watching with deep concern. It comes two weeks after Musk purchased the firm for $44 billion, a deal that credit experts say has left the company's finances in a precarious position, and as more senior executives have quit. The resignations could increase the risk of violating regulatory orders. The firm was fined $150 million six months ago for selling users' data and had to agree to new privacy rules. After the exit of the platform's top privacy and compliance officers, the Federal Trade Commission warned that the world's richest man was not above the law. Now. What is this brief mortal life? The pursuit of legacy. We've been finding out about some of the biggest VFX challenges behind the Game of Thrones spin off, House of the Dragon. Each episode has something different, you know. So, episode one was the jousting tournament, which we did the, the environment and the crowd and the city environment surrounding that, the flyover of King's Landing. Uh, episode two was, uh, was the crabs. The, the, the CG crabs for the crab feeder. That's Mike Bell, VFX supervisor for the moving picture company who worked on the series. You've got the King Viserys decay, you've got you know young dragons, old dragons, and, and, it, and it, it really is sort of unique in that sense of it's such a, a variety of work to keep track of and, and each of those different aspects. Mike says the post-shoot work for Series 1 took around 18 months and there was around a year of filming before that, meaning that all the VFX in total took nearly two and a half years to complete. He says the dragons themselves proved to be a new test for the team. Developing the characters of the dragons because Prior to this, we hadn't really delved into that that much in previous seasons. This this was different because these dragons were owned by, you know, they had their designated riders. And the idea is that they take on part of their personality. We almost got some kind of top trump cards from the production about all their attributes and personalities. Mike confirmed that they won't start on Series 2 until 2023, but the years of work that went into the first one means they'll be able to build on models and digital characters they've already created. Now, divers working for the History Channel have found a piece of the exploded space shuttle Challenger. NASA confirmed that while searching for the wreckage of a 40s era plane off the coast of Florida, they instead unearthed a part lost in the disastrous 1986 accident. Knowing they were near NASA's Cape Canaveral launch site and noticing the 8 inch square tiles on the wreckage, which is a characteristic of the space shuttle heat shield, the filmmakers contacted the US Space Agency. The divers were working on a documentary about a World War II aircraft when they made the discovery. Astronomers have detected a mysterious, overweight star that defies black hole theory. The hypermassive star was produced by the merger of two smaller neutron stars, which normally would result in neutron stars so big that they would collapse into a black hole almost straight away under their own gravity. But the latest observations revealed the monster star hovering in view for more than a day before it faded out of sight. The findings are published in the Astrophysical Journal. An experimental study is being called a leap forward in tailored cancer medicine. 16 cancer patients were involved in the research in which they had their immune system redesigned to attack their own tumours. The disease continued to get worse in 11 patients but stabilised in the other 5. However, it will take larger studies to understand how effective it really is. The results were presented at a meeting of the Society for Immunotherapy of Cancer as well as the journal Nature. Let's go to the ads. Coming up, the science behind why certain monkeys are friendlier than others. Whilst you're here, why not give us a rate and follow? Welcome back. A company which uses AI to make apps for businesses has told Tech and Science Daily that we need to consider the way we use the technology now and in the future. There is a difference between using AI to best predict what you might want and there is a difference between relying on AI to be creative. I think the minute you go to the world of creative, you lose trust because creative is philosophy and AI can't do philosophy yet. That's Sachin Dougal, CEO of Builder.ai. He explained the importance of why this type of technology is needed to help all businesses develop. The underlying issue, right, is as more and more people are building software now, 
the worldwide demand is about 450 million developers. The supply is about 50 million. So we can't train our way through this problem. We can't hire enough engineers or take them to school. So fundamentally, we have to change the way it's built. Now, Sterling has become a fully augmented reality city. State-of-the-art software has transformed the visitor experience in the Scottish city, allowing people to explore through their smartphone. The AR sees designers enhance parts of the user's physical world with computer-generated input. They create inputs ranging from sound to video in digital content, which responds in real time to changes in the environment. And finally... <laughs> There could be a specific reason as to why some monkeys are nicer than others. Research has found that friendly ones have higher levels of helpful bacteria and lower levels of potentially disease-causing microbes in their guts. The study by scientists from the University of Oxford, published in the journal Frontiers in Microbiology, suggests microbes play a key role in the social lives of animals, including humans. You're up to date. Come back at 4pm for the Leader Podcast from the Evening Standard. We'll be back on Monday at 1pm. See you then.